welcome guys to the fourth tutorial and we have set up our firebase uh, the things that needed to be done in the firebase so let's just go right into the start fragment and we need firebase authentication and we need navigation nav controller so what we'll do here is and we need a text view that says start feedback because right now if you see this is saying initializing so we need to change it to create an account or uh, loading or something or logging in so anyways let's take a method on Rio created and here we will be initializing these so first of all we need an instance of firebase authentication we need nav controller instance navigation dot find nav controller is view and we also need to find this text view view find view by id start feed text if I'll go to my start fragment and let's check the name of uh, initializing a start with text. So what we'll do here is this is being initialized and in on start whenever the activity starts this is a life cycle method. So you have to learn about life cycles if you don't know what is what is on start and on resume. It basically just takes care of what happens when your app starts what happens when your app is in the background what happens when you are resuming the app after coming from the another app so let's just go check here firebase user current user firebase auth dot get current user if current user is null means there is no user then firebase auth sign in anonymously add on complete listener okay so this is where if the user has there is no user so we can say the start feedback text is creating an account And also what we'll do is nav controller navigate to rid action dot start to list fragment else if task is successful. As what will happen is we will display the error task or get exception to string and lastly if the user is not null if the current user is not null then else same let's get this and we can say logging in so let's just try to run the app and see if this works so yeah let's just see what happens this is our app and it is it is about to run and we'll see if it has created a uh, an anonymous user for us so yeah create an account and it has successfully taken us to the list fragment 
the reason you don't see anything in here is because obviously we have to load a list here the the data that we had added in in firestore so this is successful and if you see in here in authentication if we go in here now there is a anonymous user that has logged signed in on today's date and this is the user id so i think that's it for this tutorial and what we will be doing is and uh, in the next one we will be working on how to display the firestore quiz data in recycler view here so i will see you in the next one thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel